Hey everyone, Ian here from Coastal Drone. At UAV Expo 2025, I had the chance to connect with Zertech, a company building some seriously innovative hybrid drones. Their platform runs on a two-stroke engine that powers batteries, giving it incredible endurance. We're talking over two and a half hours of flight while still carrying a solid payload. What really stood out in our chat was the engineering. There's redundant systems for safety and then a smart landing gear design that reduces drag and maximizes stability. We even got into the practical side, what these machines weigh, how they're powered, and yes, of course, how much they cost. For Canada though, the potential for something like this is huge. Hybrid power means longer missions in industries like survey, energy, and logistics without being tied down by battery limits. So let's jump into my interview with Zertech right now. So we're here with Eunice at XCR Technologies. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us about the drone? It's a hybrid, right? It is. Okay. So we're working with a hybrid which contains a two-stroke engine with five kilowatt power that is going to power up some batteries and uh, make the drone fly for uh, crazy uh, 2.5 hours and uh, have a maximum payload of seven kilograms. Seven kilograms, okay. So roughly 14 pounds? Yeah, around that. Okay. What does the drone itself weigh all fueled up, ready to go? So right now, it, uh, the weight can go up to 60, 70 pounds, but right, we try to keep it up to 55 to comply with the uh, uh, Part 107 regulation. Okay. So in Canada, um, it's kind of the same, right? The 55 pounds, 25 exactly, kilograms? Exactly. That's going away in the fall. It's going up to 150 kilograms. Exactly. So what would that mean? Um, in, like, would there, is there performance on tap? Would you have no problem increasing your weight limits? So right now, uh, with this drone, we're not able to get the full two and a half hour time okay. because of this part 107 uh, uh, problem. So we're going to increase the full ability of the drone with this new regulations coming up soon. Okay. So we're very excited about it. And we hope. So you'll be able to run full fuel, exactly. more payload, and, and stay within the 150 kilos, basically. Exactly, yeah, okay. sure. Is something like that coming for the US? Is there going to be, or is it just going to stay under waiver? So in the US, we expect for next year okay. to have also new regulations. It's going slower than in Canada, that's true. But the uh, US is also a big market that we are looking for. Yes, to yes, exactly. And We're unlocking full potential. So. Yep. So more about the drone. Um, I see it's an it's a X4 or an X8 config, right? Exactly. So eight motors. Um, what about redundancy? So if the engine dies, uh, does the drone keep going? Or exactly, we have some batteries inside. That's the purpose also of the hybrid pack. In case of failure, we have enough power to still uh, go down to a safe zone, RTL, and uh, land the drone. Okay. We have redundancy also in the motors, in each arm, so that if one fails, we have the other. And inside, with all the electronics, the RTK GNSS, we have two antennas, two antennas also for the RF communication. So it's very redundant. It's, uh, so make it impossible to fail. <laughs> it looks like it. So tell me about the landing gear. Is that gas tanks down there? These are gas tanks that you can fill from uh, any gas you buy in the store. You mix it with two-stroke oil okay. or buy uh, the mixed already prepared for a two-stroke engine. And it just go fly. You don't need uh, long charging times with uh, regular electric drones. That's the first time I've seen the tanks on the bottom. Why is that? Well, it's, uh, it's a way to make the pl platform look good. That's, uh, the aesthetics are very important as always. No, Form but, over function. <laughs> but from an engineering point of view, it's yeah. interesting to have it there because it allows us to have a very sturdy uh, landing gear and also a lot of space to, to put the fuel. I imagine it's going to keep your center of gravity nice and low as exactly. well. Exactly. That so makes that it very stable for uh, uh, such a big aircraft. Yeah. You, you want it to fly stable and not be so uh, maneuverable, let's say. That's very cool. And it's I like the fact that you're not wasting any space on tanks or your landing gear is exactly, your tanks. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. We try to optimize it as much as possible because we have to keep the weight low. That's also why it's all carbon fiber. It's not just uh, all about the aesthetics. Um, and yeah, I think it's a very optimized platform right now. So tell me about software real quick. Um, is it an in-house flight control? Or are you running something open source, NDAA? Or? So right now we're working with uh, Ardu Pilot. I don't know if you're aware of uh, Right. And um, the whole design inside has been also customized because the fact of having the hybrid pack 
uh, makes it very difficult to find a supplier that has everything. So we make a little bit of our custom solution, adapting Ardu Pilot to, to the needs of the hybrid pack, and we have a custom software there. Okay. How is it for portability? So when this thing's empty, how much does it weigh? The operating empty weight is uh, around uh, uh, 20 kilo, okay. I would say. And uh, then uh, with the payload and everything, you will go up to 25, which is 55 pounds. So right now, sitting on the ground, it's 20 kilos? Yes. Empty, like no fuel? No fuel, no pain. Wow, it's okay. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a two-man job to move yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and then ballparks, you said two and a half hours at, at the extreme end. What's the, the ballpark price for this platform, like turnkey? So the price is not uh, public. Okay. If you, if you want to have a quotation, you can contact the salesman. Give, and, a, uh, give us a call. If you have to ask. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share that's really cool or, or anything about it? Yeah, I mean, uh, to summarize everything, if you need a, a machine that does the job, if you need a Ford Raptor of drones, then uh, here you have it. Like uh, rugged design, works in any possible condition, easy to deploy, easy to charge. You can just fold the arms like this, boom, you put it in your truck, you go to wherever you need to go, fill it up with gas and go fly. That's awesome. There you have it. Cool, thank you very much, Ines. Thank you so much Take for care. the interview. Cheers, thank you. So thanks for watching this episode of our UAV Expo 2025 interview series here on Coastal Drone. If you want to catch the rest of the series, check out the full playlist link below. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe for more Canadian drone insight, training, and news. And we'll see you in the next one.